I edited this video using music, transitions and text completely free using CapCut. In this tutorial I'll be walking you through all the basic editing tools and functions that CapCut has to offer so you can create professional looking videos even if you are a beginner. So if you are ready for this tutorial, let's go to my phone. CapCut is a free and easy to use video editing app. It can be downloaded to Android and iPhone devices completely free. There is also an online video editor, so that means that you can use it from a browser. And they also have an app that you can download to your computer. But today we'll be focusing on the mobile app. This is what you see when you open CapCut's mobile app. Let's break down the homepage into different sections. Let's talk about first about the top section of the screen. You have this button on the left to sign in into your account. You have the question mark for video tutorials and FAQ. And then you have the account setting button. Next, we have what I call the start a project section. You have the camera if you want to film or take photos directly from CapCut. Captions to add subtitles automatically to a video. Gonna select this video to add subtitles to it. From here, I'm gonna select original sound, language, my video, it is in English, and I'm gonna leave these options off and then select start. The captions have been added automatically to my video, so let's take a look. With this button, you can add captions automatically to a video. Pretty easy, right? Let's go back to the home page. Now we have in case to modify the physical appearance of the subject in the video. So I'm going to use the same video as an example. Here we have different options that you can play around with. So let me show you quickly how this works. You have a slider below one of these options and you can change the physical appearance by just moving the slider. You have different menus, you have retouch, part of the face, makeup and manual. Let's go back to the home page and now let's take a look at AutoCut. With this one we can create an animated video automatically with CapCut templates. I'm going to select different videos here and then go to next. In here you can see a preview of a video that was completely edited by CapCut. I just selected the video clips and CapCut did its magic by itself. So let's take a look. So the video has now transitions, sound effects and music. And you can see other CapCut templates in here. So if you want to check them out, you just need to click on these other options. If you like any of these options, you can click on this button to export your video. Let's go back to the home page. Next, we have Prompter. With this new feature, you can read a script while filming with your phone. This feature supports editing text and supports adjusting speed of the lines. And then we have this big button that says new project. And from here, we can start a project from scratch. Below this section, you will see previous projects. So you have have a list of different edits, you have a list of different templates, the videos that you created with this button right here, and then you have a list of videos created with the camera inside CapCut. Each of these projects have a three dot button and when you click on it you have the option to back up this project, rename it, duplicate it or delete it. Now let's create a new project. Tap on new project, select the videos that you want to import to CapCut. You will see that they will have a number associated to each of the clips that you are selecting. 
this will be the order in which you are going to import the videos to your project. After selecting the video clips, tap on add. Now that we are inside the editor, let's get comfortable with it. On top of the screen, you'll see this X icon. With this, you can close the editor and go back to the home page. You have a drop down menu to change the resolution and frame rate. And then you have the export button. Then you'll see the preview of the video you are editing. Then we see the time where the vertical line or time indicator is located. So when we move our timeline, this indicator is going to change because our time indicator is moving along the timeline. And then we have the length of the video. This will guide you whenever you want to create a video of a certain length. Let's say, for example, that I want to create a video of just one minute. Right now it is one minute and four seconds. So I could trim a little section of one of my video clips and then keep checking on this number until I have one minute and zero seconds. There you go. Then we have the play button, undo, redo, and then we have this icon with two arrows, which will allow you to preview your video in full screen. Now let's go back to the editor. Below we have the timeline. Here you'll see your video and audio tracks and a plus icon in case you want to add more videos or photos to your project. With this icon, you can mute the audio from your video clips automatically. So you click and you'll see this little icon on your video clips. This means that all of them are mute now. You can undo the action and then you can also add a cover to your video with this button. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see this toolbar. This is what you'll be using most of the times when editing a video and you can slide it to the left to see more tools. Every time you select one of these buttons, you will open a sub menu. So for example, if you select the edit button, you'll open the edit sub menu and you'll have more tools in here. Let's go back to the main menu by selecting this arrow and you can try other buttons to discover more tools. So for example, let's go to audio. You'll have audio tools in here. Let's go back. Let's go to text. You'll have text options or tools in here and so on. Also, when you select an element on your screen, these sub menus will open automatically depending on the element that you select. So for example, in here, I'm gonna select this video clip and you'll see that now we have the edit sub menu opening below. And when I tap on the audio track, the audio menu will open. And now that we know the basics, let's start our first video editing project. I'm going to start by organizing my video clips. I know that they are not in the position where I want them to be. So if I want to bring this video clip to the first position, I just need to hold on this video clip and drag it to the first position. Something that helps me with this process is by pinching the timeline with two fingers. So I'm pinching in and like this, I can have a better preview of the order of my clips. So I want to move this clip over here and this one right here. And I believe this clip, I actually don't want to use it for this project. I can delete it by selecting the clip and then searching the delete trash can in the menu below. Now let me show you how to trim your video clips. This can help your final video look more dynamic or in case that you want to remove a section of the video that you don't like or maybe you did a mistake, you can trim it like this. You're gonna select your video clip and then drag one of the laterals until you have the desired section of that clip. I'm gonna continue trimming the other video clips that I have in here just to make my video more dynamic and to have the little sections that I want to show on my final video. Okay, I'm gonna trim the beginning of this clip and 
for the end of this video instead of dragging the lateral of this clip i'm gonna do something different i'm gonna position the white line or time indicator where i want to end this video and this time i'm gonna tap on split you see this button right here and now i have my video into two different sections and i'm gonna delete the second section this is a little trip that can help you if you have long video clips okay i have this section right here and now I'm going to do something similar for this clip. I'm going to select the clip, split, and delete the section that I don't need on my final project. Perfect. Now, how do we add music to our video? We're going to tap here where it says add audio and you have different options. You can add sounds, sound effects, you can use an extracted audio or you can add a voiceover. I'm going to select sounds. From here you can select an audio track available from the CapCut library. Let's go for blog. From here you can play the different songs available in the library by selecting each of them. To select an audio track, tap on the plus icon, and as simple as that, your video project now has music. What about transitions? What if you want to add a little animated transition in between your clips? To do this, you're gonna go in between the two clips that you want to add this transition to. You're gonna select this icon to open the transition menu that is going to open from the bottom of the screen. You can preview each of the transitions by selecting each of these thumbnails. And at the moment we are under the trending category, but you can see more options by selecting each of these different categories. So we have overlay, camera, blur, light, and you have some other options available in here. If you didn't like any of the transitions and you don't want to apply any transition to this section, you're gonna select this icon and then tap on the check mark. In my case, I want to add a transition in between these two clips. I'm opening the transition menu and then I'm going to add a simple transition. I personally like to use the black fade or mix. I'm gonna use mix this time and then I just need to select this icon. And now we can see that our transition has been applied because this icon changed for this transition icon. I'm gonna add another transition in between these other two clips, this time black fade. And now we're ready to add text to our video. To add text to our video, we're gonna position the time indicator where we want the text to appear. So I'm gonna position it on second one, then select text and you can add text from here. Type your text in here. You will see that your text is in just one line. So I personally like to break my text into different lines. So I'm going to remove the space and then hit intro and do the same in here. If you like this font and this style, you can select the check icon. But in my case, I want to change the font. So I'm selecting font. You will see that CapCut has a big variety of fonts. 
So select the one that you prefer. Personally, for videos, I do prefer bold fonts. So I'm gonna go for this one. Then if you want to change the style of your text, you're gonna go to this menu and you will see that you have more menus to the right. You have effects, animation and bubble. Under style, you have different options that you can apply to your text box. So you can select all these different options and see what looks better on your video or you can customize and create your own text style. You have here all the different options that you can apply to your text box. You have text, stroke, canvas, shadow, spacing, bold, italic and then you can also change the size of your text from here and you can also apply opacity to your text box. I think I'm gonna go for the first option. If you want you have more effects in here, remember that you also have different categories that you can check on this side. If you want to apply an animation to your text, go to animation and you can preview all the animations available in CapCut by selecting all these different options. Bear in mind that you will see some animations that are available for paid users and these animations have this pro label on top. I'm gonna go with this animation and you can also adjust the speed of your animation with this slider. I don't want my animation to be so fast so I'm gonna leave it to two seconds and then I'm gonna select this check mark. Now let's see how the text is looking on our video. So I'm gonna select play. I think this is looking good. I just want to add a little bit of this video clip to see what is going on in the video clip after the text disappears. I think this is good. And then lastly, I want to show you how to add filters to your video to change the aesthetic, to change how the video looks. Because I was working on this text box, I still have the text menu open. So I'm going back to the main menu. And from here, we are going to open filters. We have a lot of filters available in CapCut. Some of them are pro. Remember that the ones with the pro label are available for paid users. You can check the different filters by selecting these thumbnails and seeing the preview on the top of the screen. I think I'm gonna go with this option. And then you can also adjust this slider if you don't want the filter to be so strong on your video. I'm gonna select the apply button. Now we see that this filter has been applied only on top of the first video clip, but I can stretch this filter so it covers the full video project. I'm back to the main menu and we can see here the video track and the audio track. But what about the text track? What about if you want to change something on the style or if you want to change something in the text? You're gonna select text and this is going to give you access to the text track. And when you select the text track, you can edit it from here. Once you think your video is ready to be downloaded, you would like to preview it before downloading just to double check that everything looks perfect and you don't have anything else to change. I actually did this. I was previewing my video and I realized that my audio track was longer than my video track. So you can see in here that my audio track is longer so at the end of my video, you will have a black screen. We want to fix this and this is pretty simple. I'm gonna position my time indicator when my video clip ends and then I'm gonna tap two times on my audio track. One and two. This is going to give me access to this menu in which I can split the audio track and delete the remaining audio track that I don't need. Once everything is perfect and you are ready to download your video, you're gonna select the export button on top of the screen. And 
as simple as that, you'll be exporting your video file. Now CapCut is telling me that my video has been saved to my device and it's ready to be shared. And this is the final video. If you want to find amazing video clips for your next video project, you need to watch this. Here Ronnie shows you six different websites to find great stock footage. If you liked this tutorial, remember to give us a thumbs up to share this video with your friends and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep learning with us. I guess this is it for today. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and hope to see you in the next one. Bye!